Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is releasing in week three of Palace Skateboards' Spring 2024 collection. For discussing week three though, guys, I've got to thank you for something. Something that I was really grateful to see this month as for 2024, I have been letting you guys down a lot when it comes to the channel and uploading on the channel. So while I was uh, at the music festival over February, uh, over the past couple of uploads in general, I was asking if we could hit the subscriber milestone of 3,815 subscribers before the end of February. We were very close during that whole period, but uh, over the past 24 hours, you guys have come through. Maybe you told a couple mates to subscribe to the channel, whatever it is, uh, and we hit the subscriber milestone of 3,815 subscribers. So I did just want to take a second or two out of this video today to thank both the public and private subscribers for supporting the channel. Uh, thank you for helping me reach this milestone. I'm really grateful to see that you guys are still supporting the channel even though I have been really slack in 2024. Um, I've tried to relate to you guys that like I've just had other priorities happening for the first two months of the year. Um, I've really been trying to like work with my lawyers and work with uh, the real estate agents and the banks to like get this apartment sorted and stuff like that. And hopefully by the end of February, I'll have that all sorted and then I can move in. And then hopefully from like March onwards, we'll go back to regular scheduled programming. It's just gonna be a bit shaky until at least then, but it's awesome to see you guys support the channel even through that period. And I still wanna give you a shout out for it. So thank you for th uh, hitting 3,815. And hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we'll be able to hit the next milestone that I'm gonna set in this video of 3,820. I think with your guys' continuous support, we should be able to reach that milestone before the end of the month. Yeah, welcome back guys. Welcome back to the coverage of the weekly drops from Palace's spring 2024 season. And as mentioned in that intro, in today's video, I'm gonna be covering everything to do with week three. What am I gonna be covering? I'm gonna be covering everything that is releasing in it, all my thoughts on the pieces releasing in week three, and the release details for week three. How we're going to cover all that is by using a Palace community page. We'll head on over to that Palace community page now and we'll start covering the release details for week three. So here we are at the Palace community page that we're going to be using today, guys. We'll cover the release details first and then we'll dive into all the individual pieces here. If you want to vote on the items yourselves, like always, I'm going to have it linked down in that description section below for you guys to do exactly that. But when is week three dropping? Well, the items releasing in week three will be releasing on Friday, February 16th, 2024, online and in store. But online when, in store where? Online, 11 a.m. GMT time for the UK, the online store that we're gonna be using for most of the world. Uh, 11 a.m. I think it's Eastern Standard Time for the US on their online store. Uh, it'll be dropping in store in all their locations except in Asia on the Friday. But for Asia on the Saturday, that's when they get it. So on the Saturday, the 17th of February, uh, Japan, China and Korea are all going to be getting week three. Uh, Japan gets it in store and online. China gets it via the WeChat store, and Korea gets it, I think, just in-store at the moment. They don't have a dedicated online store, so just an in-store drop. But if anything, that feels kind of personal, you know? Like, you would be able to go to the Korean Palace store, meet people, really get around the release, and I kind of like that, I guess, intimacy around that kind of drop. It, it would be really nice to have that community here, whilst when you buy it online, you literally just click piece, size, buy, 
cool <laughs> you know what i mean like i feel like it'd be such a great uh sense of community by going in store but um that's just I, me speaking and it's probably how i feel just because i live down here in australia where there's a very small almost non-existent community of streetwear and fashion fans and we have no like in-store releases for anything so Maybe that's just me projecting to you guys. <laughs> but anyway, that is the release details for week three. That's everything to be said about them. Um, if you have any further questions, though, comment section below. Let me know. I will try and help you out the best that I can. But now that we've covered all the release details for uh, week three, when and where it's dropping, like I said before, we got to cover the what. Let's dive in to the individual categories this week and see what we're getting for week three. Now in the custom tops releasing this week, we have two in a variety of different colors. We have the open stripe knit releasing in the three colors that it comes in. Although for some reason it's doubled up on the page. Don't know why that's the case. We saw this color in the lookbook uh, from memory and I was actually kind of worried. I was like, ah, look, it looks like an awesome knit sweater from Palace, but I hope it comes in more toned down karma colors because the pink and orange is it's in your face luckily palace has got me covered and released two colors that are a lot more toned down and i gotta say that gray one the gray on gray oh yum that is good um the other two the black and green is okay the pink and orange is okay i just think that like color wise it's not going to work too well in my wardrobe if i was to create an outfit with this piece it would have to be the centerpiece of the outfit while whilst i feel the gray on gray could actually work cohesively in an outfit so i mean i'm going to give it a thumbs up across the board here but um yeah i just think that the more versatile option is definitely the one to go with we then have the boxy stripe t-shirt coming in a couple colors I've never been the biggest fan of this type of t-shirt, um, but the color offerings are nice. I don't mind the navy one, that's quite nice, but the brown and green, I really do just like my solid colored shirts and things like that. Um, patterned shirts, you kind of lose me there, but it's an okay piece. Um, and yeah, that is all the custom tops releasing this week. Let's have a chat about the hats. We've got a couple of them releasing. We, well, two coming in a couple different colors we have the horsepower trucker cap uh it comes in some real tree uh like camo print versions uh i think they're hideous i think they're so hideous i actually like the solid color one and i think the solid color one's really cool it looks like a like a racing car trucker cap that you'd see at like a NASCAR event or something like that. And I really like that. I can really feel that through this design here. But the other ones, the other ones, not so much. Um, the other hat that we have releasing this week is the Teddy Ears Ear Flap, um, I guess, cap uh, coming in the three colors it comes in. I think this is this hat would have like greatly benefited from no branding on the front of the cap but and and they could have had the branding on the actual like strap as well uh i just think that you got to have a very certain style to be able to pull this off successfully otherwise i'm gonna think it's like a little bit goofy and i'm like mm, i don't know uh but each to their own i personally wouldn't wear it because i think i would look very goofy in it i can only imagine what a six foot five guy wearing a cap with te teddy bear ears would kind of look like but um each to their own as i say <laughs> uh i think i'll have to leave that one as a down vote for me this week for the pants we have one pair in a variety of different colors we have the corduroy belt trouser uh i actually think this is a really nice piece in some very nice color offerings we have a deep green washed out black and a cloudy gray awesome lovely all three colors awesome love the cut material choice everything about it no complaints about that piece whatsoever Next, we have the jackets. We have the Teddy Fleece jacket releasing in, I, 
almost the same three colors as the caps, I think. Uh, I think the jacket is better than the hat. I feel like you'd be able to wear the jacket more and get away with wearing the jacket more. I just, this is my perception of it, right? You could wear this piece very easily as a woman because it's more socially acceptable to be like cutesy and things like that. Whilst the lads, it's going to be hard to rock this without seeming, I guess, really strange or against social norms, I would say. And if you're going to wear this, I guess you got to have the confidence to rock it. Um, that's just like my hesitation towards it. Like, could I wear this? I mean, I'd give it a crack. What are, the, what are people going to say? Oh, why are you wearing that? Because I wanted to. But it just, it, it doesn't speak to me because I can't see myself as like, like the cutesy guy that's gonna wear something like this <laughs> but there are like guys out there with that aesthetic that definitely could and i mean like you know do as you want but i just wanted to like i guess make that comment that this piece is hot like even though the colors are really easy to wear the style and how it's designed is going to make it so much harder for you to wear but um you know props to you if you're willing to you know have the guts to be able to do something like that but uh anyway each to their own on that we'll move on to the other piece which is the hexagon uh jacket we have that releasing in a blue black and a gray which has sort of like a pinky tint to it as well uh yeah i think that's a really nice piece it's a really nice quilted jacket uh not something that i would because that kind of style is not for me but solid good materials good colors i can't complain about anything to do with that now for the t-shirts this week we've got well only one releasing but in every color that you could ever want <laughs> we have the basically a long sleeve coming in a black gray white navy blue orange or rouge as it's putting it uh it's got you sorted man Easy, easiest logo slash design to wear uh comes in all the versatile colors you want comes in my favorite colors i mean it'd be rude not to it's just a classic easy to wear long sleeve so yeah it's gonna get a thumbs up for me in four out of the six colors because you know once we go into the light blue and orange option i'm kind of like meh probably wouldn't wear it too much Moving into the sweatshirts, we have the Bit Grippy Tri Berg Hoodie coming in a soft white, deeper blue, navy, rouge, gray, and black. Uh, it looks like just your regular Tri Berg hoodie, but I assume it has a textured logo on the front and back. And judging it by it saying Grippy, I assume it's going to have like a, well, it's probably pretty self explanatory, a pretty grip like texture where you can touch it and it's gonna feel resistant and whatnot uh yeah it's a cool concept i like it i think it's a fun way to release this hoodie and add a bit of flavor to it, it comes in some nice colors um i think the black is probably going to be my favorite just because i'm boring and like versatility but the other col color offerings are also really nice as well moving into the shirting or the collared shirts releasing this week and it's a really awesome collared shirt, which I think you would really do well rocking in the office. We have the patchwork stripe shirt coming in a blue, green, and red. Some really solid color offerings. Uh, it is a basically a button down shirt, which has been cut up and reassembled using various different patterns, but all the same color to recreate a button down shirt. I think it's a really fun idea. I really like it in the blue and the red, the green. I've never worn a green button up shirt to work. Um, I've just never, it's just never a color that you really see. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it's a really awesome t-shirt. It's a fun way to add a bit of spice to your, I guess, office attire and it's not too crazy where people are like, oh, no, I can't do that. But it's just crazy enough where people are like, wow, that's a cool shirt. You know, like it's hit that perfect middle ground that you want. Uh, yeah, no, I love it. Awesome. Love it when Palace does this stuff. They've done this stuff in the past and I love it. But yeah, that is week three, guys. That is everything releasing in the third week of their spring 2024 season. How do I feel about week three? I actually really enjoyed it. It was really consistent. The only things that I probably disliked was like the Teddy Ears stuff 
and the uh, the horsepower like real tree colors. Um, but apart from that, yeah, the rest of it's pretty solid. Um, nothing that I need and nothing that I like will pick up because I mean the next video is literally going to be me unboxing a order that I've uh, recently purchased. So nothing for me for week three. But that's not to say that I didn't enjoy week three. Um, I definitely feel that the open open stripe knit will probably make an appearance in my top five favorite items of the season unless there's just something that really triumphs it and it's just way better but anyway yeah now that we've covered it i'd love to have that conversation with you guys in the comment section below what are you feeling from week three what do you like what don't you like let me know what you do and don't like about week three down in that comment section below and that's really everything to cover about week three guys we covered the release details it's dropping on the 16th for most of the world or the 17th of february for asia we covered all the individual pieces and my thoughts and opinions on the whole week now i want to have a conversation with you guys down in that comment section below are you picking up anything from week three do you want those teddy ears, either caps or jackets? Maybe you just want the patchwork uh, button-down shirt. Or maybe you just want the open stripe knit. I'd love to hear what you guys are going to be picking up from week three down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering all the upcoming releases that Palace is going to be releasing, I want you to give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned at the start of the video, we're trying to hit the new subscriber milestone of 3,820 subscribers before the end of the month. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we'll be able to reach that milestone before the end of February. But that is all I have to say about week three, guys. I wish you the best of luck for week three. I hope you're able to pick up what you want in the size and color you are after. I hope you have a lovely Friday. And until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Droplist video, until the next Palace video in general, I'll catch you later.